This is a story and film about a Cardinal Meadowhawk, also a Blue Darner, which is another uh, dragonfly, and the Douglas Squirrel and a Ten-Lined June Beetle. These are some still shots of the uh, male Cardinal Meadowhawk. Here's a, a pair in the mating ritual, male on top, the female on the bottom. And here is a shot of a male uh, looking towards it, seeing its uh, huge eyes that they have. This is a pair here in a mating ritual coming up. They are about 35 millimeters long and they're an aquatic insect. Fossils of giant dragonflies date back approximately 250 million years. They, they had wingspans of over two feet. Here's a mating pair uh, in the air now, which they, this is quite common. They're, they range from the Arctic to the tropics, as well as deserts. All dragonflies have four wings and can fly forward as well as backward. Dragonflies hold their wings outstretched and horizontal. We see a pair mating here in the reeds in our pond. Most dragonflies mate in flight, but sometimes they perch on stems of plants. They usually drop their eggs when they're flying into the water or by dipping their abdomen in the water. This is a still shot of a male and female mating, of course, and the male's on top, the female's a lighter color. He has a slight uh, appendage at the end of his uh, abdomen, which he can grasp onto the head of the female. This is a uh, film section here of a crane fly mating, Tepula pallidosa, European crane fly, length 30 millimeters long. This European species was introduced accidentally in British Columbia in 1965 and has since spread to California where they first were collected in 1999. They range worldwide. They like humid areas, often near streams, wet moss and muddy places along the creeks and so on. Adults do not eat. Eggs are usually laid on moist soil. Adults emerge in the spring. The larvae are often eaten by skunks and moles. Adults are devoured by birds and bats. These were photographed. I found them. They're, they're all over the place, but I found these, this pair mating inside a box. And here's some still shots coming. The female is on the top. She is swollen with the eggs and uh, the male is on the bottom and uh, that's how you usually see them uh, in, in, in on plants and grassy areas and so on. This is a uh, mating pair of uh, dragonflies. They are blue darners. Their uh, Latin name is Eshna canadensis. There are about 4,870 species of dragonflies known worldwide and about 430 of these recorded in the USA and Canada. The head is large with compound eyes. The males have appendages at the tip of the abdomen for grasping females when mating. They usually fly along the shoreline and uh, of ponds and streams searching for insects. The presence of dragonflies around a pond or lake is a good indication of the diversity and health of aquatic ecosystems. They play an important role in regulations of insect populations as the adults and naiads are uh, predators. The naiads will feed on a wide range of aquatic insects. They also serve as an important food source for other wildlife such as birds and bats. Is this still shot of a male flying over our pond. This is a Douglas squirrel right in our property here. They eat uh, new shoots of conifer trees, acorns, nuts and mushrooms, fruits and berries. 
I have seen them take eggs from a barn swallow nest, also took the young as well. It will build a nest in summer out of mosses, lichens, twigs, and shredded bark at a fork of a tree. In winter it sleeps in tree holes. They have one to eight young, average five, weaned after six to eight weeks. Range southwestern BC, northern California, western Oregon. This is a, a 10 line June beetle. They are about 25 to 35 millimeters long. They are uh, adult uh, beetles eat uh, conifers, the uh, roots. Larvae like to plant roots of orchard trees and woody plants. Life cycle is three to four years. Larvae work their way into the soil and feed on the roots of uh, orchard trees and other types of conifers. Beetles make up to 37% of all known insects. More than 23,700 species have been recorded in Canada and the U.S. Adults stay under cover during the day and weeds the grass. The, its antenna is clubbed. On the male, the lamellae is of the, the club is long, flat, flat tongue-shaped plates. The female has a shorter, more compact club. Females lay six to seventy eggs in the soil. They hatch in about three to four weeks. They take three to four years to develop fully. The grubs feed on roots and can weaken or kill fruit trees and other types of trees. The adults emerge in July. Here, this one was uh, newly hatched out. I found him in the grass. He uh, just uh, is getting his wing covers working and his wings uh, working out here. Get him exercise, he's on his way. He's uh, finally going uh, fairly good now, and uh, I didn't interfere with him at all. He's uh, heading somewhere. I just followed him. It was only about uh, 25 feet that I uh, photographed him uh, heading out. So there you can see him. Uh, he's heading over the hill there, and uh, he's, uh, he's going to start his life now. And... Uh, he was on his way there. Here's some still shots. That's the female there. Her lamellae is, is short. This one is a male. You can see the lamellae is uh, quite uh, paddle-like and they can smell and so on with uh, those uh, lamellae. Thanks for watching.